just a simple little demo just involving a regular household candle. Now, when we light a candle on fire, everybody says, okay, well, the candle burns, the wax melts, and that's what goes on. But remember that only vapors are going to turn around and burn. So we start with candle wax. It's a solid. It melts. It turns into a liquid. We heat it up enough. It vaporizes. And that gets pulled up into the candle wick. And that's really what's burning for the most part with a candle. But let's back up for a second before we talk about that and just do a real simple basic demo. We know that for fire to occur, we have to satisfy all four sides of the fire tetrahedron. And right now, it's getting the air and the oxygen from just the ambient air around. If we turn around and control that and cut it off, we can see pretty quickly the fire starts dying out as it's using up the air. Okay, we reintroduce the oxygen, everything's good. Okay, now what we're going to turn around and do is we're going to turn around and blow the candle out. And what we're doing is we're blowing the heat away so it's, uh, it's not hot enough to turn around and burn. Then we're going to reapply a heat source, but up a little bit higher, not down where the actual wick is. And for a little while after we blow this thing out, it's still going to be vaporizing and producing some flammable vapors or smoke. And we'll see that those vapors will quickly reignite. See how the flame jumped down? It went, ultimately went down to the wick, but it traveled down via the smoke. So the, the learning point there is just a reminder that smoke is fuel. It's those flammable vapors that burn.